school. That's the party. I'm so the electrical engineering program has been running for several years now, the design thinking for electrical um, engineering. And really what we're doing is we, we're putting students in these uh, multidisciplinary teams within engineering um, and get really getting them to investigate real uh, challenges in, in that, we, that we face in South Africa. So from that side, what, they've, they've, what we've done is get them to go outside the classroom. So instead of being given a challenge that they then apply their knowledge to and solve within the classroom, we've given a challenge that really forces them to get outside. At first, it sounded challenging because, I mean, you had to, talk, to go talk to people and use all these different mechanisms that you have never used. But then when you actually got into it, it, un it unfolded very nicely because now you're going to people, talking to them, you come back. It's not just an, an individual's um, thinking that's involved, but you, you interact with different people and come up with solutions that will probably lead to a better um, solution to your problem. In a lot of the projects that I've faced so far, you just like, you're like, oh, you know, these things could solve this problem, this problem, this problem, and then and never really challenge one's assumptions. Um, so I think that was a big, a big shift for me, and found it actually a really, a really cool change to sort of force a change in perspective almost. Um, and what we've been running there is really around uh, looking at uh, minibus safety in South Africa, and the uniqueness of this challenge um, and the richness of this challenge really presents students with highly complex, highly human-centric um, challenges within that to start solving. Once they've moved through that process of really finding the right challenge to solve, they can then start applying their engineering um, processes such as root cause analysis and other elements to solving these, these complex challenges. Um, and the result of which is, is great because they've, they've They've used design thinking to find the challenge and actually start to, to design it, but then bring in their engineering knowledge to actually start building some of the solutions. Okay, some of the challenges um, I encountered doing design thinking was that there was, with a lot of people in the group, there's a lot of ideas. Sometimes they clash. Sometimes not everyone agrees with you. Sometimes people agree with an idea that maybe can't actually be implemented or it's a bit out there. But it was a, it was a good experience like going through that process and like just you know filtering good and bad ideas. Prototyping was a very helpful thing for us to build something and then to like to go out into the field and talk to people and say like so we've made this and then people are like no that's not gonna work you know um, and so I think yeah completely it, it was a, a big process of iteratively like reframing the problem and deciding what exactly we were solving. So usually what would happen in the engineering farms is that people and you know, our students would graduate, they get a job in the, in the big farm and the big farms used to get very well defined projects. That is changing very rapidly nowadays. So nowadays the engineering farms are trying to tackle problems that are not very well defined and also many of our students are becoming entrepreneurs and when you are trying to become an entrepreneur you have to disrupt and when you want to disrupt a new technology you have to think out of the box we need those design thinking skills to know the actual user requirements you know like when you're first introduced into engineering you need to get to the solution as fast as possible because other problems come up in the implementation but now getting to the end user first it's just, it makes it quite easy actually, what I've realized is that it makes it easier, like the pressure is, 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 is less because now you kind of guarantee to get to the solution and you know that it will work. Definitely fleshing out the problem itself and determining what is, like what exactly are you solving, uh, that was a big thing for us. Um, not just jumping in and going straight away, you know, this is what we think, we've got the solution. Um, but to, to look more at like what are the practical problems, to talk to people in the field, um, and I suppose just engage with the space really, that was a, a big thing. So what I found useful about design thinking is it's a step-by-step it's a -step process and I, I think I'll work better in, in that way, where you can know where you start and what you want to end up with at the end of like maybe a part of the design, design um, process. So. It was, I liked how like, you know, sequential it was, that you move from one step to the next step to the next step, and you end up with something good on the other end.